is up, Job Squad? How are you guys doing? Welcome back to another episode of uh, The Best Of. And uh, last week we did 2K17. That means this week we got to do 2K18. A little, uh, a little, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? A little trip down memory lane, if you will, yet again this week. Um, yeah, we're uh, we're nearing the end of 2K19, so I thought it would be, an, you know, kind of a nice little idea to do... Uh, <laughs> we're nearing the end of 2k19 so let's go ahead and look at our best 2k18 arenas um yeah so we're just gonna go through my my five favorites i guess from 2k18 um there were some good ones but uh yeah we're just gonna go through uh through five of them here and uh, the first one being indie raw we did indie raw and indie smackdown and i think i liked indie raw better for just like whatever reason i love this venue um I don't know that we went the... You know what I think it is? I was just thinking about the scaffolding being here. This would actually be a really cool thing because if you go to like Ring of Honor shows, they have like a scaffolding. Or at least when I used to go to uh, the ones... They used to do it at like this community center, which was basically just like a, a basketball court. I don't know. Maybe it wasn't a basketball court. Maybe it was more like a ballroom. Uh, but they would have like a scaffolding and they would put the, the camera up there. So this would actually be a cool little spot for like a camera. Right? Like, you could just put a camera, like, boom, right here, you know? That'd be cool. So, maybe it makes sense to be there, but, um, yeah, I remember, I remember making this and, and being, like, this is, like, an indie show, but, like, for WWE. So, they do have some of, like, you know, like, the LED screen there and stuff like that, but it's very minimal. Um, and I loved the, I love the lights up top. For some reason, I just, like, bringing them down like that, it just looks, it looks great. Um... Obviously, you're in the basketball court, uh, and then you've got uh, you've got the raw setup here, and it's a very basic but very beautiful. I I just like I love the red that we used and the you know, the apron there. It just like it looks good, you know, with the white. It's just like it's again, it's very basic, but uh, it looks good. And we even went with the new raw logo there. All right, yeah, I like that. Um, the one thing that I think I would change uh, if I could. Uh, and we'll, we'll see. Uh, let's go modern here and then pattern floor. Uh, wait, can we bring that? Wait. No, go back. Bring it in? No, bring it out. Okay, bring it, <laughs> bring it back to the normal size, please. Uh, and then you kind of lighten it up a little bit to match... Like the rest of the floor a little bit there. Uh, whatever, close enough. This is what I would have actually... I mean, because, you know, at this point, I mean, it's not perfect, obviously. Um, That's the one change I would actually make. Just to kind of make it look like it's a part of, you know, like there's no... Uh, there's no padding. Although if it was a WWE ran show, there would definitely be padding. Uh, but the fact that it's an indie show, I do like the idea of, uh, of having the, having the wood there instead. So that's, uh, we're going to save it. We're going to save it like that too. I'm going to keep it like that. So that way next year when I do this again, I'm just kidding. I probably won't do this again. Maybe I'll do it again, but I'll do different arenas. But, uh, that's the one change I would make to this one. Um, just a very simple arena. So, uh, let's move on to, uh, let's move on to number two. All right. Number two is extreme rules and, uh. Wait, what is going on here? Wait. Oh, I never noticed it like that. The, those beams kind of like come out like that. Um, this is like a very tight knit uh, setup here, but I love the I love the way it says it. You know, the extreme rules works obviously with the X there, um, and the round Titantron with the moving background there is. I mean, just short of perfect, uh, if I've seen anything. Uh, the, the Minitron is, you know, it's okay. You know, I think I just kind of wanted to use something different there, maybe. I don't know. Um, this is back in the day where I would use, where I would just try to make, like, the best arena using what I had. And then, you know, I would I would change some things. But for the most part, I would use movies. Um, as you can tell by the entire setup here um down here again oh okay what do we do here oh we went extreme rules with the little mini extreme rules in behind it okay yeah this is another scenario where i was just using logos within the game 
uh, and the movies and, uh, and just trying to make it look, uh, as good as, uh, as good as I possibly could. And then I kind of got out of that this last game and started making my own, uh, my own designs. So, um, but I'll probably get back into this early on in 2K19. But uh, I, I basically I didn't pick this one for the ring. I I definitely picked it for the entrance ramp because of the way. I just thought it was so perfectly put together. I don't know that I like that Minitron though. Like maybe I would have done a different Minitron at this point. Like, uh, like maybe this one. Can I see what this looks like? Just give me what I want. Yeah, that seems like to be, <laughs> maybe we picked the right one, actually, the, you know, because it kind of, it kind of takes away from, like, all the movie that's going on, and, uh, yeah, just, I thought it was a very perfect arena, so I wanted to show it off one more, ooh, the lighting, I wanted to show it off one more time for you, um, beautiful arena, beautiful, works together well. All right, uh, let's move on to number three. Okay, number three is probably one of my, uh, I don't want to say one of my favorites, but I really liked this arena for one reason, and um, it's it's the keyboard on the, on the ground here. I wish the keyboard, I wish I would have gotten a bigger keyboard or I could have done something to make it bigger. Uh, the repetitiveness of the logo is something that I definitely regret, if I could redo it, I would probably take the background from, like, if I could, I would take the background from that Cyber Sunday logo and then put it on the Minitron and then do something over there. Um, but the whole idea of this was to do, like, a modern-day Cyber Sunday. Um, and so the this front bit here is supposed to be, like, a computer. Here, if I go, I think you can see it better, maybe? I don't know. It's supposed to be, like, a square Right? Like, see, you can see how it's kind of like a computer screen there. And then the bottom part, like this, this little, this little bit right here, this little rectangle is supposed to be like the stand. So that's supposed to be like a computer screen. So Cyber Sunday. Uh, and then you've obviously got the iPhones on, uh, on either side there. And that was, uh, that was the idea. And it's not like an overly impressive stadium build or uh, arena build, but I liked the fact that I, you know, I, I, I liked the idea that I went with and, uh, and I think it worked out well. I think I used this arena in my, in my universe mode for 2k18 maybe. And that, uh, you know, that made it look, uh, that made it look even better. So what do we do down here? So we just basically took the Titan Tron and put it down here, man. I was really going like real light on these arenas back in the day. We went Cyber Sunday movie. Oh, I see. We just took the Cyber Sunday logo. Oh, and then we found a movie to go with it. Okay. A little bit of extra work there. Okay, I like it. Uh, We got a... We don't have an announce table. Okay. Up top, we just got Cyber Sunday. Very basic stuff. Um, But, uh, again, it's... It's an arena that... Uh, it. I feel like it kind of sparked the idea of, like, taking stuff and uploading it, like, outside of just logos and um and making it look good you know i mean like it's again it's not the best arena but uh you know i really liked uh i really liked the computer screen iphone idea kind of made it like a modern day cyber sunday and that's why i selected it to showcase here so uh, yeah not much to look at but uh yeah good idea i think i might actually do another cyber sunday in uh in 2k20 i got some ideas if you will uh okay so let's go ahead and move on to what are we on number four is this three okay so this is three so let's go ahead and move on to number four all right number four is roadblock end of the line and uh this is another one of those arenas where i just took stuff that was within the game really and uh and made a great arena out of it if i do say so myself so up top here the entranceway is basically just you know it's your basic entranceway you know with uh with all the normal stuff and things like that um the thing that i really liked was this like road that we put down <laughs> bless you thank you um probably should have moved these lines over just a little bit i loved that loved it and i built it all within the game uh, if I do remember, I think I did like a custom image where I did like two of these little rectangles and then just put them all the way up, all the way straight to the, to the top there. We put a little car next to it, you know, just to, you know, roadblock. Um, and then down here, I'm not entirely sure. I think it's like those rectangles, uh, tiled and then a black background maybe. 
That's got to be what that's got to be what it is. I can't imagine it's something else. But this is this is a perfect example of like being able to make a good arena. Oh, I love how the lights only go like halfway up the up the thing too, the walls. Oh, maybe it's just broken cuz that one's got more going on. Um, but this is a perfect example of being able to make a good arena out of uh out of just stuff in the game. And I'm noticing that the fence, the barricade is weird. Why does it look like that? Okay, well... Okay, whatever. Just go back. I feel like the whole thing is supposed to look like this. But it doesn't for some reason? I don't know. How does that happen? I don't understand how that happens. I feel like this look used to look a lot cooler when like the whole thing was like black and yellow. I love what we did with the with the steps here. What pattern is that? Can we get a, a, a pattern on that? There must be some kind of pattern on it. There's no pattern on it? It's just straight up? Okay. Uh, that's interesting. I love it, though. I love the way it turned out. Very, uh, you know, I just... Just a, a great example of uh, being able to put together a uh, an arena strictly with stuff that's just in the game. Strictly with stuff that's just in the game. And I love this announce table, too. Black and yellow. Like a bumblebee arena. All right. Uh, just, again, just what a what a freaking... Uh, what an arena. All right. Number uh, number five is... Uh, is well, Let me just... Let me do it the same way I've been doing it. All right, guys. That's, uh, that's roadblock. End of the line. Let's go ahead and move on to number five. Okay. The final arena. Again, it's another very basic um arena but man did it it turned out so well and i just used stuff that was within the game again another one where it's like and this is probably my favorite arena hands down it is my favorite arena in this game um and it's very simple very basic stuff i just tiled the logos a lot um use the titantron there the 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 raw titantron to to kind of get the double entrance going there with the logos next to it the 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 rampway here is it's got the logos on it you know and i used the the outlines to make it pop more and my favorite part is definitely this where it's like again i just use the tiling effect and the blue and the yellow with the wcw logo i love it use the tiles again and there again it's like and it's just like it's so basic you know but like everything works so well together i think the one thing i would change maybe well, I guess not because you can't do corners. If I could change like this right apron and that left apron to be WCW and then on the opposite side be WWE, then I would have the ropes be the same way and then you'll have like WCW corner and WWE corner. Um, and then, you know what I'm saying? So like purple ropes would be on this side and then the red ropes would be on the other side. And so like if there's a tag match, your WCW superstars would be on this side and your WWE superstars would be on that side. Um... Yeah, that's what I would like to change about this, but it, it wouldn't work because of the aprons. And I think that's, you know, because that's obviously where I went with the ropes here, you know, because the purple matches up with the purple and the red matches with the red here. And um, yeah, I just, I mean, just so basic. I love the, uh, <laughs> I love the yellow on the, on the announce table there. What do we do up top? Oh, okay, so we just did the WCW. Oh, I love the WCW logo with the with the purple outline instead of uh, instead of the black because we were doing black with like a purple background on everything, right? Yeah. So I love the I love the change up there. That's great. I like that. And the entranceway, man, this is like one of those entranceways. It's just like it's it just makes sense, and I love it. And I know I did another one. I think I did one that was with like WCW. Um. That was a little different. I think I actually did the same thing with Mix Match Challenge. I think I did a Mix Match Challenge uh, arena in this uh, in this mode in this mode in this game as well. And I think I did I think I did the same thing. I think I changed the I think I changed the two black rectangles instead of them being on the outside of the Titan Tron. I think I moved them in closer to like the middle. Um. But yeah, this is uh I I mean this is this has got to be wait does that one thing work? I want to I want to back up here. Does this work? The same way it works in 2K19, where you, if you go here and then you can, oh yeah, there you go. Now you can back up more. Um, 
can I actually, oh wait, can I do that? <laughs> I want to see it with the match lighting, but I want to back up all the way here. This is really just for, <laughs> this is really just for the, 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 the thumbnail here, guys. Beautiful. I also just really wanted to see the whole thing in action there. I love it, man. What a great arena. All right. Uh, there you have it though, guys. That is the video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like, make sure to subscribe, make sure to follow me on Twitter and on Instagram at Jobber Nation. This has been your boy, Jobber Nation. Bye.